so many young people want to be this movie star or want to be an astronaut or, or something fantastic. Louis Escobar wanted to be a dairy farmer. I've lived my life's dream. <laughs> There have been a lot of changes to agriculture in New England. Farm to table, farmers markets and CSAs, the movement grows stronger every year. And the new farmers are celebrated everywhere, magazines, television, films. There's another farmer who is left out of the local food celebration. New England's traditional dairy farmers remain the backbone of agriculture in the region, but they fight for survival in an age of artisan cheese and kale. Dairy farms, people so underestimate them because they're seen as declining, because there are fewer of them. They are not valued for uh, the economic um, engines that they are in our communities. People get the, the, the stories mixed up because agribusiness is, in many cases, harmful, detrimental, but that's not our dairy, that's not our farmers, not our dairy farmers in New England. They live there. You should say to yourself, wait a minute, if these farms have been in operation for a century, shouldn't we be saying, what are they doing right? There are some ideological differences between the two farming cultures, but as the new food movement grows in popularity, we should remember that dairy farmers defined agriculture in New England for generations. I feel like people will never know, you know? People just don't even care. They don't know, they don't care. They don't even know what a cow smells like. It's like the whole, the whole world is just going backwards. If you don't live on a farm, you don't know how the world works. This is about these farmers. <laughs>